Religious bodies in Lagos and security experts from different parts of the state have thrown their weight behind the proposed Southwest Security Outfit Operation Amotekun. This was a focus of deliberations at a consultative meeting organized by the State Assembly. Abim Bola Agbebi has details. Thursday, the 20th of February, the State Parliament reconvened from its annual recess. The lawmakers were recalled to deliberate on the proposed Southwest Security Outfit, popularly known as Amotekun. I believe that uh, we need to localize, look at the structural recruitment of this Amotekun's uh, aspect of, of, uh, of neighborhood wars. While Lagos is seen to have set the pace for community policing through its existing Neighborhood Safety Corps law of 2019, it became necessary to amend certain sections of the law in order to accommodate the proposed Southwest security outfit. The structure has to be looked into. Committee that is looking into you should look at the structure. You're having a commander for Amotekun, you still have the executive secretary, so that there won't be conflict. Who is actually heading the agency? The structure must be properly set up. Who attends the meeting when we are meeting other states? I have my own suggestion here. The amendments made in that law give rise to the need for this interaction between the lawmakers and interest groups of the state. The Neighborhood Safety Corps is going to witness amendments that we accommodate. One after the other, community leaders, religious bodies, security experts all pledged their support for the bill. But they want special attention to be paid to the recruitment of the core members. The church is solidly behind the formation of Amotekun. And the day we announce it, fear grip everybody in this country. And we say it anywhere we go, we are patrons of Amotekun. Amotekun has come to stay. And Amotekun will be prayed for by the church and is going to be well with Amotekun. Among the suggestions made was the need for the vigilance group of Nigeria to be incorporated into the law. As you can see my men, we have been operating in Lagos ever since. And this is the time we want the Lagos State Government to incorporate vigilante group of Nigeria who understood the terrain and the topography of all citizens and Lagos State in particular to be incorporated into the bill. It's a welcome development and this is what the Lagos State citizens are waiting for. Certain notions held about the proposed Amotekun outfit were equally corrected at the meeting. Talking about Amotekun, Amotekun should not be seen as a warfare gang, you know, trying to wage war against any other interests or tribes in Nigeria. So we should be particular about security protection. With what happened here, the people who are having the fear about Amotekun will be disabused. Various ethnic nationalities that's here, we realize that they, their interests will be guided. That was one of the reasons we have a stakeholder meetings, that everybody can submit their memoranda towards the passing of the bill of Amotekun. It's something that will represent every interest. They're going to sort of give this uh, Amotekun concept a kind of deliberate a kind of deliberate uh, push a kind of deliberate leeway to be able to do some unorthodox things so for us in lagos pdp amoteko has come to stay now so much has been said about the much talked about Southwest security outfit talking about the proposed Amotekun bill which is still being deliberated on by lawmakers in the Lagos State House of Assembly now residents of Lagos and some security experts at the public hearing are confident that this bill when passed into law would reduce drastically the crime rate in the country. Abimbola Agbebi, TVC News, Lagos.